Okay, we're going to take a look at another aromatase inhibitor. Uh, this one, uh, Letrozoff uh, Femera. I, pretty much everybody in bodybuilding calls it Letro or Letrozol. Um, and how it's used in bodybuilding. Uh, before I dig into it and talk about it, uh, please take the time to uh, like the video, um, subscribe to my channel. I get a lot of people watching my videos, not a lot of people subscribing. I uh, really appreciate it if you subscribe. It helps me out. I'll keep cranking out videos if you if you do. Um, anyway, let's let's dig into it. Um, so letrozole technically uh, is very similar to an astrozole, but I can tell you in practicality they are very different. Um, letrozole is like the nuclear bomb of of aromatase inhibitors. It <laughs> it's effective. It gets the job done. Uh, but man, it, it is rough. Um, uh, so it, it is a oral anti-estrogen jog, a third uh, generation oral aromatized inhibitor, just like an estrozole. Um, I also want to point out, and I have in the other videos about uh, AIs, the difference between an AI and a CIRM. Every bro gets this mixed up. Uh, aromatase inhibitor does exactly that. It inhibits aromatase uh, with the conversion of, which causes the conversion of testosterone to estrogen. Um, a serum is a selective estrogen receptor modulator, which binds up the estrogen receptor, um, more specifically in the uh, breast tissue to uh, keep uh, estrogen from affecting it, but it leaves estrogen free to work on other tissue, uh, such as the liver, so you don't get your um, cholesterol or your, your um, lipids are crushed. Um, it was developed as a breast cancer treatment around the same time as Sinastrozole came out after. It's a newer drug. Uh, this is bananas to me. Uh, studies shown that a 0.1 milligram per day dose reduces estrogen by 80%. Holy crap. Uh, I mean, it comes in a two and a half milligram pill. Um, I, I can tell you just one two and a half milligram pill is enough to just completely blow your estrogen away. Um, it's it's crazy powerful. Uh, it was approved for human use in 1997 as an adjunct therapy for breast cancer. Uh, I will tell you, um, it, it's, um, you know, it, when you look at the studies, which is what's fascinating to me, it, it's way more powerful than... Um, an astrozole, but when I was looking at the studies about uh, effectiveness in fighting breast cancer, it really was no different. The results were no different than um, an astrozole, which is which is interesting, um, even though it's more powerful. Um, effects of letrozole, it, it blocks the aromatase enzyme, reduces uh, estrogen-stimulated breast tissue growth, um, used in conjunction with tamoxifen, just like an astrozole, um, studies have shown that it caused a regression in breast growth. I will tell you that in bodybuilding purposes, um, it is really the only anti-estrogen I've seen that is so semi-effective at reversing early-stage gynecomastia. It, 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 I haven't had much luck with it with an astrozole, but electrozole will do the trick. Um, Side effects of letrozole, and there are a lot. This is this is the shitty side of it. It sounds like it might be a better anti-estrogen until you get to the side effects. Hot flashes, night sweats, loss of appetite, constipation, joint pain, weakness, fatigue, decreased bone mineral density, which over a long term can lead to osteoporosis, nausea and worse than lipids it will crush your lipids it, it makes your lipids horrible uh, at least in my experience it has been in the joint pain with letrozole is horrific uh, bodybuilding uses for letrozole used to combat high estrogen levels uh, best with use with steroids that heavily aromatized test etc um, you know Keep in mind, it's only going to work against uh, steroids that aromatize. Prevent or shrink gyno. As I mentioned earlier, it is the most effective uh, anti-estrogen I've seen for shrinking gyno. Uh, you got to use it with tamoxifen, though. Uh, um, combat estrogen-related 
bloating uh, when you're you know in a contest prep it'll really harden you up um um, Half-life of letrozole, I have seen studies or information that say anywhere from 42 hours to as much as four days. Um, it does seem like it has, in my anecdotal experience, it, it seems like it does have a longer half-life than an astrozole. It seems like it stays in your system longer. Uh, doses. Uh, um, and if you're just trying out, I would, I, you know, I would start off with one and a quarter milligrams every other day that's probably going to be more than enough to crush any estrogen you have even on a gramma test you know maybe not but uh intermediate would be two and a half milligrams every other day and then 2.5 milligrams every day the only situation where i can co where i can consciously think that it would be you know, it would be, you know, reasonable to take that high of a dose would be is if you had a growth in your chest that you needed to reverse gynecomastia um, or maybe the last week or two from, for a contest if you really needed to harden, harden up. Pre-menopausal pre -menopausal women should just avoid it outright. My experience, um, as I've mentioned before, my estrogen always runs high. Um, I have had to use letrozole a few times to clean up some gyno in my chest or in you know i tried running it long term one time and it just fucked me up god i felt awful joints hurt uh just lethargic just brain fog i, I felt way better with the nasher's all right in x or xms stain um i just don't like it you know for contest prep at the end it's fantastic for hardening you up it really is but I, that's about the only time i would use it or if i had a gyno flare up um it really negatively affects my cholesterol too the side effects are just nasty overall i, I get really bad constipation night sweats um you know it just makes my joints hurt uh, it's, it's just not good um I, I, I know that I don't don't run rheumatase inhibitors in the off season if you don't need one Especially not letrozole. I mean, you're going to fuck your cholesterol all up. You're going to end up, you know, over the long term, not not a short term thing. But if you are taking it constantly over years and years and years, you're going to end up, you know, having plaque build up in your arteries and potentially have a heart attack or a stroke. Uh, my, I tried two and a half milligrams per day, and when I when I you know in the contest prep, and then when I got my blood work done. My, I think my estradiol was like one or two. It was crazy. It was like non-existent. Um, you know, once again, I just want to remind everybody, aromatase inhibitors do not work with non-aromatizing um, steroids. It, it, they just don't work. You know, so Anadrol um, doesn't uh, aromatize, but it does attach to the estrogen receptor for, through some indirect method and could cause gynecomastia. It's not going to help you. There's there's no nothing to block since the aroma, there is no aroma, aromatization. Uh, same thing with trend. Uh, you know, trend can cause gyno with, with prolactin, progestinic effects. Uh, it's not going to help you there either. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Please feel uh, please like and subscribe as I mentioned before. Feel free to ask questions in the comment section. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. Um, if there are any videos you want me to make, I'd be more than open to suggestions for more videos. And follow me on Instagram at Paul K. Barnett. Thank you.